Alright, Bomber fans, the day has come. We finally have the announcement of our 41st captain, and to nobody's surprise, it is, of course, Zach Merritt, who will lead the club as the sole captain, with Andy McGrath acting as his vice, his right-hand man. Merritt as captain was a no-brainer. The guy has improved his leadership immensely over the years. I remember him being left out of the leadership group um, either in 2019 or 2020, one of those two seasons, and that acted as a wake-up call for the guy. Since then, he has been right on the mark. Vice-captain since then, I believe, actually. In Hipple's absence, he has captained the club a few times. It's hard to get a read of what he is like on the field, though, but you can tell his captaincy style will be different to Hipple's. He is a less relaxed character. He'll probably be a bit more intense, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just different. He is clearly professionally motivated. That's why he became an elite player. He almost sacrificed his leadership to step up as a player, but it's been a really impressive bounce back. He is a deserving captain. You've got to respect the grind. Even how he conducted himself last year, he had to front the media a lot and did so really calmly. It was impressive to see from a player that has been a bit quiet in the past. I think that's when we all knew as a fan base uh, that he would lead this club well. Our vice captain, no surprises again, Andy McGrath. He has been our co-vice captain in recent times. I don't think he has ever led the club off the top of my head. I think in the last few years it's been Zach Merritt and Michael Hurley when Heppel was missing. Um, I don't remember McGrath ever getting the gig. He has been touted as a future leader for quite some time, though literally as soon as he set foot uh, through the hangar doors. That's why he was drafted to us. In fact, his leadership was the biggest seller point and it's finally paying off the guy is our second highest figurehead and for the rest of the leadership group well the AFL website says we are yet to announce it but the Essendon website and the statement uh, released by the club says otherwise we have apparently opted to scrap the system for this season but the club will still continue to strengthen its position through the leadership program so both Merritt McGrath and probably even Heppel our former captain will help guide the up-and-coming youngsters to find a future spot in the leadership group so what that means is that we pretty much have an unofficial leadership group led by the two official captains or the captain and vice captain um, but the unofficial group we as fans don't know of we don't know what it consists of we don't know the names this has actually upset some I've seen some comments um, uh, well, some critical of the decision but you just got to remember that the leaders of the club will still be leading they won't just fade away because their name isn't on the official piece of paper it's easy to look at the lack of a leadership group from surface value some will definitely think that suggests we don't have many leaders at the club but it's just a decision that the team has taken to help improve the stability of the group going forward. So that's that. That is our captaincy recap. Merritt and McGrath. Let me know down below if you're happy with it. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more videos like this.